The concept of adaptive reuse is very important in business. Let's say you have an organization that's been around for quite a long time and has a building that's no longer being used by the building. Okay, this is the Magna Plaza in Amsterdam. It was originally built in 1895 by Cornelius Hendrik Peters as the main post office for Amsterdam. Today, it's a shopping mall. As you can see, Magna Plaza is very successful as a shopping mall and very profitable. You can also see how well it meshes within the historic renovation of the original building. Amsterdam has a wonderful resource to look forward to for years to come. This is the Amrath building in Amsterdam. Absolutely gorgeous example of the Amsterdam version of Art Nouveau. Uh, the hotel is uh, situated in the shipping house. The shipping house was built in 1913 till 1916. Then it was the first construction phase. There was a second construction phase as well. And that was from 1925 till 1928. There were six shipping companies. They had their offices here. Okay. What they did, they uh, sold tickets to guests, so guests could with the steamships go to America or Asia. Next to that there was as well industry for wood and uh, other products. Mm -hmm. uh, they had their offices here for a very long time. Mm -hmm. After that the shipping house uh, was empty for a while and then the uh, public transport company, company of Amsterdam, they had their offices here. Mm -hmm. They had their offices here for 15 years. And in 1997, Mr. Giovanni van El, he is the owner of Amrat Hotels, he bought the shipping house. And 10 years later, we opened as a hotel, the Grand Hotel Amrat in Amsterdam, in, uh, on the 8th of June 2007. Since then, we are a five-star hotel in the city of Amsterdam with only central station for five minutes walk away, 165 rooms, and with a lovely interior and exterior. Let's look at the concept of adaptive reuse as it applies at the level of the city. Um, we're here in Chicago along the famous Chicago Riverfront uh, to look at some of the work that they've done to renovate uh, the river and upgrade the banks. Across the river, uh, you'll notice that things are not very well developed. It's an offshoot of the previous um, use of the river as a shipping center. So boats would come along, they would stop along the quay and transfer goods. And that was the use of the river at that time. Uh, those days are gone, most freight is being shipped by rail and by truck. So nowadays, the river has uh, other uses that we are enjoying, mostly uh, our tourism and uh, recreation. So on this side of the river, you can see that we have renovated the riverfront. We've turned it into a beautiful uh, uh, cafe where people can come enjoy, have a meal, and it's a whole new use for the city, a whole new way of looking at it, but a real asset to um, our enjoyment of the city. So again, there's a very good example of adaptive reuse of a city waterway. Oh,
Um, river taxis, boat tours, uh, restaurants, water kayaking. These are all the wonderful things that we can do in city rivers once we review and understand them as recreational centers rather than as transportation centers.